students. This week we are going to talk about what a herpetologist is. What's a herpetologist? A herpetologist is a scientist that studies reptiles and amphibians. There are many different types of reptiles like crocodiles and alligators, turtles, lizards like skinks and chameleons and geckos, and even snakes. All reptiles have things in common. They have scales as their body covering. They lay eggs. They have ear holes instead of ears. They have four legs, and some have no legs, and they are cold-blooded. Amphibians include the frogs and toads, newts, salamanders, and some legless amphibians called Sicilians. Amphibians can live on land and water. Their skin needs to be wet and moist. They have webbed feet, they are cold-blooded, and they lay lots of eggs in the water. A herpetologist might study reptiles or amphibians in the wild. They would look at their behaviors, where they live and what they eat, how they grow, and more. I want to introduce you to a lizard that lives with me. This is Smiley, and he is a leopard gecko. You can see that his body is covered with scales that are bumpy, and his skin is dry. His body is yellow and pink with brown markings or spots. This coloration would help him camouflage in the sandy and rocky habitat of Asia, where he comes from. Leopard geckos live wild in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and India. Smiley lives in a large tank that has all his needs. He has a heat lamp on one side of the tank and a heater underneath the carpet. This keeps the right side of the tank warm. The left side of the tank is cooler and that is where his water bowl is. Since he is a reptile, he doesn't always have the same temperature inside his body. He needs to move to the hot side of the tank if he wants to warm up, or move to the cool side of the tank if he wants to cool down. This is what it means to be cold-blooded. Smiley also likes to have shelter or be protected, so he is often resting inside his Cool Whip container. I'll go ahead and pick Smiley up. He is very used to being held, but I want you to get a chance to observe him moving in the tank, just like a herpetologist would do. Hope you enjoyed observing Smiley in his habitat. Did you notice anything interesting? Did you notice he has a very fat tail? That tail can come in handy too. 
If he were to be attacked in the wild, leopard geckos can let their tail go. It comes right off their body. If the animal eats their tail, that lizard can then run away and survive. It then can grow back. Isn't that cool? Another cool thing that lizards do is shed their skin. Now snakes are really good at shedding their skin. And when they shed their skin, it comes off in one big piece all through their body. This was one long snake. When the leopard gecko sheds his skin, which, does, which he does about once a month, it comes off in little pieces. I have a cute picture of him when he had his skin peeled up around his head. He had a hard time getting that off, but when he rubs up against the rocks, it can peel right off for him. You know what else he does with it? He eats his dead skin. Speaking of eating, you may wonder what Smiley eats. We have to keep his food as a pet too. He eats mealworms, which are kind of like baby beetles. They live in this tank with oatmeal and potatoes. When Smiley's ready to eat, I dangle it in front of him and he is really excited to catch it. Let's watch. Yummy! Isn't it great to be a reptile?